so guys for now what we have done is we have created uh, this student name okay and uh, now we would be creating another field that is the age of the student so we would be clicking on new and uh, From here, you are to select um, the number student age. You can write also description. This is the help that, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so, this is the help text that is visible to you all. So, if I write enter your age and uh, next uh, next and save so see the student age has been entered now what you want is name age okay uh, for gender we would be using a pick list okay uh, so in here enter the values because we are to provide our own values and that's why so male female and other. okay so I have specified uh, three gender types and so in here some things have been created by us now what you want is uh, you want to see how uh, these things are get into work because we to what we are seeing we are seeing this ui partner but we want like uh, in here like something of this kind mm. we want something that uh, for example if we click on accounts so something of this kind happens that uh, we are prompted to enter our name age and all the values that we have entered so now we would be creating uh, something of that kind so uh, uh, as i showed you uh, this one so these are all your tabs this is a contacts tab this is a cases tab this is a reports tab this is one dashboard one so all these are a tab and whatever we see in this these are your applications so uh, you can say that uh, application consists of n number of tabs as per your business requirement so first of all we would be creating a tab okay so uh, what we are going to do is uh, for now we have created uh, these many fields now i want to create a tab okay so what i would do is i would go to home and search for tabs and from in here see i have created some other tabs as well so i would be creating uh, another tab so the object name that we had created was a uh, student okay it would automatically uh, come here when you uh, select the drop down list okay after that what you do is uh, you select select any layout uh, that you like for the time being so i am going with this one and uh, do next apply tab visibility to all profiles or apply tab visibility to each profile so keep it uh, unchanged and uh, where you want to include your tab so do you want that your tab should be visible in other tabs if yes so if uh, you are good with that if you don't want uh, that your tab should be visible in some other app so uh, remove the uh, checkbox and now what you do is uh, select student see i told you know that the plural name so here your plural names come so these are your tabs till now we haven't created any app so this is uh, showing no results but a tab is showing so this is of student so uh, see 
this is your students tab com, uh, coming here and now uh, I'll do new so what we had in that is student name student age as well as uh, we had uh, marked this field as mandatory so that's why it is saying me to complete this field uh, the student age as well as the gender student 1 student age 21 save and new student 2 uh, ok done so we are getting two types of uh, we have created uh, two students in here S001 and S002 so this is the format in which we uh, gave uh, the object uh, data type that in which uh, type it should go that was not their, uh, their text or auto number so this was here and we specified the format S slash 40 dash four zeros so that's why it went and now if you want to hover the details so this is the student number this is the student name this is the age and this is your gender okay so this is your app uh, sorry this is your tab okay for now i would be demonstrating you how to create an app okay after that we would be working on some other basics okay from here go to setup um, and in the home menu select app manager this is your app manager okay so what you want is you want to create your application so you want to give a new lightning app and you have to specify your name so i would specify student management system okay and tracking details of students okay and from here you could also upload an image from your local uh, file system if not salesforce would uh, put this image as your brand logo okay and this would be a preview uh, of your app launcher that how it would look like so we would be doing next now it is asking you the navigation style that what should be the navigation style for this one do you want standard navigation or console navigation so we are going with standard navigation for the time being um, in the first word videos we would be uh, going in depth that what is standard and console uh, but for the time being I am just explaining that how you could create a simple application okay uh, supported format see desktop and phone as we have discussed now that you have to create for only one kind of thing so that's why and uh, next now this is the utility item manager that do you want to add uh, some another utility items like uh, this is the standard fee that charter uh, flows history list view and there are various number of things we would be discussing them later so don't mess with them just click on the next and do you want uh, to uh, what items uh, do you want to put in your uh, app so if you want uh, from here uh, you can put some app, uh, items in here so but I don't want anything uh, available profiles so choose the user profile that can access this application so uh, we are working with the system administrator so the system admin has the access to everything so that's why we are only uh, for the time being we are considered for this only so now if you see uh, your student management system has been launched and created but there are no items in this why because we haven't added any tabs to it so now we would be adding tabs into this okay This was a tab, so we chose the gear icon now. So that's why it is showing in this way. 
if we click save and now we go to our application of student management system so see in this we got a list of students and if we do new we can enter more students so this was the complete working i hope you understood this video in the next video we would be adding some other fields as well so yeah if you have any doubts any queries related till here you can comment down below we would be happy to solve